Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very honored to be here to sign this legislation, which is about fairness uh, to our federal workers, our public employees. Uh, it should not be necessary. We shouldn't have a shutdown. Uh, but since we do, we want to ensure uh, that our, our public employees, some of them are working without pay, some of them are shut out from working, but all of them will be assured that they will be paid. This is the enrollment ceremony, and so I did so in a way that... Uh... <laughs> Madam Speaker, could you comment the President um, a little while ago talked about the potential for declaring a national emergency, he said he's not going to do so right away and wants Democrats to come back and they can fill in a vote on it. Could you comment on that, please, now? When the President acts, we will respond to whatever he does. Uh, and in fact, we have given many paths uh, to uh, alleviating this, uh, opening up government. In fact, what we did, and I think it's important to remind uh, that uh, in the House, we have put on the floor the legislation that had already been passed by the Senate, the Republican Appropriations Legislation. A Republican Senate initiative that passed 92 to 6 in the Senate, we're putting it on the floor here, sending it back to them to say, we take yes for an answer. We did exactly what you Republican senators wrote. Now take yes for an answer and pass your own bills that you've already passed once again. But the fact is, we shouldn't have it in the first place. It's again uh, a uh, tenter chant, as was mentioned, a temper tantrum by the president. I'm a mother of five, grandmother of nine. I know a temper tantrum when I see one. And uh, that's most unfortunate because people's services are being withheld, people's paychecks are being withheld, and that's not right for the American people. We have a better idea about how uh, to secure our border, to do so with technology and infrastructure uh, that is smart and does the job. Building the infrastructures at the ports of entry where 90% of the drugs come in, the President talks about that, where most of the people who come in seeking asylum come in. Let's have more personnel there, more infrastructure, more road repair to facilitate all of that. We, again, uh, have a better way, and that's the negotiation we should be having. It's a negotiation we have gone to now three meetings. I think the last one was a staged affair so that the President could walk out. But um, the other meetings of, of staff over the last weekend have tried to be productive if you want a solution. We'll be asking on that. He has said terrible things. Terrible things have been said by other people in this administration. So. Well, you when he makes a decision, we'll let you know what we think of that. Thank you. 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 Thank